Hello, hello. So I'm back. Got my buddy Andy St. Aj coming to join me. Actually, here, let me send a... Got three people in here. Gonna wait to see people pull up. Hey, bro, I want to talk and talk this. Ghost Master. Cooking Nomad, all things van life. Madden life. Yo, what's up, Stu? Yo, yo, yo. Let's see. What do, what do we want to do? What do you want to know about this matchup, Ghost? I think we got a great chance to win. No, what, what 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 do you want to talk about? Yeah, I, I yeah, absolutely. Especially with the Chiefs, they they they've lost some games at home. They haven't been playing that great. We're 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 going up. I mean, let me see here. Um So, yeah, let's look at the – Welcome, everybody, to Andy St. Oz. A very close friend from uh, – Hard factory worker at GM. Lives in the Flint area. Hey, hey. What's going on, Andy? What's up, Sue? How you doing, bud? Good. Good. We're talking about this game. We we got the Chiefs this weekend, and I think we can. Uh, I think we got a good chance of, of of beating them. Dude, Chiefs are a different story this year. Yeah, and and you know what? They're they haven't played that well. They're four and three at home, dude. They're not that good. They're not that good. No, Mahomes has not been playing how he no. normally does, and. I mean, totally they, barely, they barely beat the Patriots. They lose to the Bills. They lose to the Packers. They lose to the Lions for season game. Yep. Do not mention. Dude, I'm telling you, this these next three weeks for the whole NFL, like no one's. Everybody's on call right now. Yeah. Like it's got to be probably the, the most parody Ever, I'd say, like, oh. there's. I mean, I'm looking here. I mean, you look at um, standing so the AFC, so you know, the Dolphins are 10 and four, Chiefs are nine and five, but they're going down. The Bills are actually coming back up. The Ravens, obviously, they're they're probably the front runners right now at 11 and three. I think Ravens and Niners are. By far, but um, let's just say the AFC though. You got the Browns at I mean that AFC North. The Steelers are last place with a seven and seven record, dude. That's a great record. Going the AFC South, the AFC South right now. You have three teams at eight and six, and the Colts and Texans are both trending up. In the in the NFC, you have the Eagles and Cowboys, 49ers. Lions, I'd say that's probably it. But I don't understand how last week the Cowboys go and just lay a fucking egg to the belt. Oh, let me let me see. Let me see. So they they all the Bills whoop their ass. Oh, 
straight up just whoop their fucking so ass. the bills the bills back to back beat the chiefs and then the fucking cowboys right so it's just like and what what is well hey dude get this the cowboys who i know people are talking about the nfc they gotta play the cowboys the or sorry the dolphins the lions and then washington but they got two probably l's coming their way i'm telling you right now i'm as a lions fan i'm scared of the Cowboys, but dude, I think we're gonna beat the shit out of them. Let me see. Let me see the Lions here. So Packers beat ya, beat the Saints, the Bears, be whooped the Broncos, and then actually the Broncos are trending up right now. So that's a big yeah, win. Those were on the up and up. Like they were doing really, really well. Really, you well. should beat the Vikings. I would think so, but you got the, oh, you got the Vikings twice. Yeah, we got the Vikings at their house and then at our house. Yeah, all, as far as Lions fans go, sorry, all we need is one win. One oh, win, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, and really, it, it lies in your hand because the Vikings are. In second place with a seven and seven record, but you play them twice. <clears throat> yeah, and we play them at their. How about place. the NFC South? What a sh- what the fuck? What the fuck is going on there? Seven and seven, seven and seven, six and eight, and two and twelve. You're leading the fucking division with a five hundred record. And really, the NFC West is kind of shit. Besides the the say or besides the 49ers. There needs to be, there needs to be something done. It, it it almost feels like the college fucking playoff. You know what I mean? What do you mean? To the point where, holy shit, you're fucking seven and seven, and you're leading the division, and you yeah, like make fucking playoffs. That's fucking dumb. I see. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So just because you win your division, you shouldn't. No, fuck not no. like. Yeah, yeah, like, Fuck. Y- usually it's a little more, seven, yeah, seven. I mean, I do these next three weeks, I'm telling you, and a lot of guys, a lot of teams, the, the last couple games are fucking huge games, dude. Big time, big time, big time. Because Let's see who the, Ra- Let's see who the Ravens play. So the Ravens have the Jag, Ravens oh no. Play the fucking Niners this weekend. Well, Bro. dude, they have, the, they have the Niners, the Dolphins, and the Steelers, so that's. That's not easy. Hell no. Hell no, it ain't. And that's why I worry about my Lions because we haven't exactly had a tough schedule besides our first game of the year, which we won in Kansas City, bitch. Let me see. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. So, yeah, that was a, that was a huge fucking game. Um, where are we at here? Yeah, 21-20. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Is that is that right? And then you lost to the Seahawks? And, yeah. Yeah. So you, I didn't realize that. So you started off one and one. Then you smoked the Falcons, which suck. You beat the Packers when they weren't good. The Panthers are shit. Buccaneers were shit. Exactly. That's what I'm scared of. The Ravens beat the fuck out of you. Absolutely beat the fuck out of us. You beat you beat the Raiders when we were struggling. Yeah. Yeah, that was when we had Hoyer started, I think. Bobby? Uh was it is it Brandon Hoyer? Jesus Christ, how many Hoyers are there? It's like the fucking Detmers. Brian Hoyer. Brian. Is that what you said? I said Bobby. I thought it was yeah. Bobby. Brian Hoyer. Okay. Who's been in the league forever and hasn't, you know, hasn't done, done a fucking thing. Just like this, just like this fucking guy last week when we we're playing the, the Chargers, everyone's, oh, I can't wait to see us uh, this this John Stick or whatever. This fucking guy has been in the league five years, Andy. 75 times he's had did not participate. I'm like, this guy's stealing. It's gonna have a longer career than I did, and seventy-five games did not did not participate. Yep, steal money. 
fucking A. That's why he got his fucking ass kicked. What the fuck? So then you got uh then you you beat the Chargers. That beat was the tough. Bears. Then the Packers beat you. Then you squeezed out of New Orleans. Then the Bears beat you, which is what the fuck. I know. And then you you hammered the Broncos. So we, yeah, I mean, if you look at yeah, you, your schedule was pretty easy. Pretty easy, very easy. Yeah, that's, that's what I worry about. We haven't played a uh, top notch team besides week one, be, because I mean, even at week one, Stu, like uh, everybody's trying to get their bearings. You know what I mean? So well, we, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a yeah, yeah. You you don't I, know the Chiefs at their best. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, and a, and a team that just just like just like I, I go to you know Deion Sanders and them opening up with TCU, who was in the national championship the year before, and they beat TCU. But TCU had a fucking shit season, right? But in the beginning, you think TCU is good. You don't know who's what until the end of the year. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how wins are, no, and you know you what I mean? Yeah. No, you don't. So right here. Let's see. Clinch playoff spot: Ravens, 49ers, Cowboys, and Eagles. We would have clinched the Lions, anyways. Lions would have clinched a playoff berth if the Seahawks would have lost on Monday night. Oh, but, that you remember? You, I remember you telling me. That. Yeah. So in the hunt: Lions, Buccaneers, Vikings, and Rams for the NF AFC. Here's the, look at the AFC is fucking nuts, dude. Dolphins, Chiefs, Jaguars, Browns, Bengals, Colts. That's a fucking gauntlet right there. And then on the bubble, Texans, Bills, Steelers, Broncos, Raiders, and Chargers. Yeah, that's a gauntlet, dude. Dude. That's a gauntlet. And then definitely eliminated Patriots, Jets, and Titans, and then Panthers, Cardinals, and Washington. Yeah. Here, let me just let me just take a look here. So Madden Live, what's up? Uh thank you. The hair is crazy. I appreciate that. Uh but the ring around the rosy play against us, they've embarrassed ah, fucking yeah, the fucking Chiefs. I fucking the ring around the rosy fucking bullshit and Kelsey. I think Kelsey's he's he's in too much other shit. I think he, oh, I think I he's done. Fucking, I fucking hate the Chiefs. My son hates the Chiefs. I hate the Chiefs. We hate him. Yeah, and then the whole thing with Mahomes just, you know, after the Bills game and yeah, like it's they, just like Downs coming up to him saying, "Hey, good game," and then he's saying that was the worst fucking call I've ever fucking seen. Shut the fuck up, you dumb fuck. Yeah, you got beat. You got beat. The guy was offside. You got beat. Fucking moron. Oh god, you know what I want to say? Don't. Um, uh, AP's uh, chances on what big change? I don't. Yeah, I, I don't see why AP. If 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 we if we go in and we beat Kansas City, he should be he should get a contract extension right now. Who are we our head to? our head coach um, Antonio Pierce. Antonio Pierce. Head right, Antonio for the Raiders. Yeah, yeah. Totally, yeah. Agree. totally agree. Yeah, totally. like I don't know why people these 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 fans are like, well, what about this guy, this guy, this guy? And I'm like, dude, we have a guy. We have a guy. Yeah, uh, he's a Dan Campbell esque type of guy. Exactly. I, exactly. And I, I have I have a pretty good opinion because I I played with both of them. Right. Right. You know, like. He is, dude, his decision-making, whatever. I would love, and I, I, I talked about this earlier on, on wasted, wasted Show, whatever, because I'm assuming every week he's making adjustments, right? Yep. To, to tweak this practice schedule, to game plans, to whatever, to figure out what his – his formula is that's going to get his guys ready to play on Sunday, right? Like he's still figuring that out. I would love to know what 
the adjustment was from the week of Minnesota when we lost zero to three, and then in a sh- and then five days later, we we beat the Chargers what sixty three or sixty five to twenty one like that was crazy. I thought the fucking Dolphins game where dude some ass with that score, but that was fucking crazy. Dude, it was un- like Aiden O'Connell. Four touchdowns, no interception. Dude, eight different players scored. Yeah. Eight different players scored touchdowns, dude. Defense scored twice. I think we got three turnovers to our no turnovers. Like, turnover on on, on punt. I, I, like, a, you know, the, the punt team ripped the ball out. Like, it was unbelievable. Like, I'd, I- love, I'd love to know what his adjustment was from the week before. Like, what? Was it a, was it they ate at a different time? Was it they they didn't wear pads the whole? Or you know what I'm saying? I want because there had to have been adjustment, but whatever it was, I get this too. I get you. Shit. I, I guess mean, that's. I wonder, was it really an adjustment that the fucking coaches made, or was it? An it could be nothing. It could be nothing that the players made saying, "Bullshit, we're gonna fucking." kill these fucks because i know there were weeks andy where i thought practice was just we like the vibe was good workouts were good players were positive film was going good we we felt like we had a comfortable we knew what the team was gonna do everything felt good and then we go out and get our ass kicked and i've had other weeks where it's just like dude i this is this has been a shitty week like i i like we're gonna get our ass kicked and then we go out there and we win right you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know, like, what what the formula is from one week to the next. Because there may not be anything other than just one, the first drive got you going and you just kept that positive thing going. And the other team just kept like, oh, we're going to, you know, just the vibe of it where the other team's like, this game's over with. And the right. one team's just going, whatever we do, we're going to win. Like, positive. <clears throat> I believe I think it's just positive fucking vibes, dude. And I call dude, I I I I called it. I I I said I feel good about this game. I said I never make predictions, but we're gonna win this game. And then uh Docs right before the game said, Stu, how do you feel about this? AP pulled Aiden O'Connell aside and said, Aiden, just want to let you know you're on a short short leash today. Like, like this is a pivotal game that we need to win. I said, I said this, I said, I love it. (laughs) I said, I love it. Cause I said, when Aiden was at Purdue, he had a coach, Jeff Brom, you know, Jeff Brom, look what he did at Louisville in his first year. I mean, great coach had great seasons at Purdue, you know, played in the NFL, a guy I respect the hell out of, but he was rough on his quarterbacks, dude. Like, Ash chewing to the max. And whenever he asked Ash chewed Aiden, Aiden never flinched and had his best game. So I said, dude, he's gonna have a fucking great game. I'm glad that AP said that. And look what happened. And then still, oh, we need we need to draft a quarterback. I'm going. And then and then I want I want all the fans They're gonna to listen to this. Oh, forgive me, guys. I'm a little behind. Uh, I want all the fans to listen to this. No team ever. And I don't know why the fans are stuck on this. Because there are a bunch of fans going, you guys are all excited about a win that doesn't mean shit. And we just drop down draft picks. We need to tank the season and, and get a higher draft. No team in the fucking history of the NFL has ever done that. None. No, they're too, too competitive. Too competitive. There's no. Here's the deal, and Andy. You know this. The NFL is a captain. Actually, we might have Captain come on up, Captain Jack. Um, the NFL is a sport of alpha, badass motherfuckers, dude. That's just Stewart. I'm. I'm gonna go even. I'm gonna put one up on that as far as alpha 
it's not even alpha. These people are animals. They're scary motherfuckers, dude. I'm just they're animals. It's not alpha. It's not owning or dominating your herd. It's these people are fucking ridiculous. So you're gonna tell me you're gonna go up to Drew Brees. No. Nope. And say, hey Drew, let's let's let's, <laughs> let's 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 throw some interceptions. Let's lose these next three games so we can draft a, a high rated quarterback. Right. In in the NFL, you are one play away from the end of your career. If you give up a play on national TV, it could be your last play. Nobody now can can a front office can a front office sit guys and maybe you know, take some guys and move them around a little bit. Yes, but again, that front office, if they lose the next two or three games, they might be done, right? And they're, they're all, that's what they always say. Always play your best no matter what's going on because you're auditioning for 31 other teams. So they want to put up bad uh, bad press to them to to maybe – Draft a kid who hasn't fucking pissed a drop in the NFL. You're nuts. You're fucking nuts. Dumb. You're dumb. Then I'm thinking quarterback, quarterback, quarterback. We got a quarterback. Okay. We got a kid who has proven he can complete passes, who has proven he can win games, who has proven he can lead us to a to a, to a victory. Right? All, all of what you want a quarterback to do, right? Yep. We have a guy that we know can do that in the NFL, right? And this is a kid who's gone with two different head coaches, two different offensive coordinators. And that's all I heard forever with, with Derek Carr. Well, his problem was he had so many different coaches and, and offensive coordinators. Here's a rookie. Do What? You ready for the problem? Hold on. No, no, I'm not done yet. Hold on. Okay. All right. Fourth round kid. Who no one expected shit out besides me and, and Docs, to be honest with you. Um, but let's go and try to get a kid that might be able to do it. Right? Like, none of these kids have proven they can do it in the NFL. We got a guy who proved he can do it in the NFL, and we just want to dump the kid. And here's what I challenge people. Don't even listen to me because they call me a homer. Well, Stu, you know him and blah, 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 blah. All this bullshit, right? I'm not. Just I'm go, not. just go and, and, and type in Aiden O'Connell film breakdown and watch watch guys like um uh Chase Daniels break down his film. L- listen to listen to fucking um uh Kurt Warner or Trent Green. Former pro quarterbacks talk about Aiden O'Connell and the throws that he makes and how well he's doing for a rookie. But we want to we wanna go and, oh, well, this kid did this. He hasn't done shit. Nothing. College football does not dictate the career of an NFL football player. There is no – besides the Randy Mosses and the Michael Vicks and – these guys, yeah, they're good in college. They're going to be good in, in, in the NFL. For the 99 other percent of the guys, there is no guarantee at all. And we want to throw away a guy for a kid who hasn't done anything. Does that make any sense? But do you really want to throw him away? Do you want to throw him away or do you want something as far as – I don't know. I don't know. That's a good point. No, that, that, that that's a good point. That's a good point. You don't throw them away. Oh, dude, you should listen to some of the comments. He sucks. He's trash. I mean, they've been saying that. Right. Well, oh, yeah, dude. I'm like, and I'm thinking this. Last week, with us winning, people were still bitching. Well, the defense gave up 21 points. I'm going. Win's a win. A win's a win. And a win's a win every time. I'm going, you motherfuckers would complain about the rope they hung you with. Some some Raiders fans, they just want to complain and bitch. 
And then they say, that was a pointless win. Are any wins in the NFL pointless? Jesus Christ. These these people I are- know in the NBA, uh, NBA, they can do a five-game road trip that they don't even give a fuck about. MLB, who gives a shit if they lose a game? These people are playing for their lives. And a lot of the times... Yes! The audience doesn't realize What's that. What's that noise? They don't realize that. What's that noise? My son dribbling a basketball. No. I love him working out and stuff like that, but here, hold on. Let me let me see some of these com- let me see some of these comments here. Ba 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 ba. See if anything. Stu, would you consider would you consider Harbaugh if you were Mark? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't I don't think we need Harbaugh. I think we got our guy. We have our guy. We have our guy. But you do too. But two years ago, I wanted Ed Dobbs as the GM, who's now with the Colts. And I wanted, if anything, I wanted Harbaugh. Harbaugh wins wherever he's at. His 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 dad has won wherever he's been. His brother has won wherever he's been. They win. Stu Harbaugh. going crazy today. What? What 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 what? You know who a lot of people like, Andy, is that offensive coordinator for the Lions. I hope he doesn't get, go anywhere. No, he'll he'll probably will. How can he, how can he not? The only way that he but I love that I love the plays our offensive coordinator did mm-hmm. this last week. But sorry, go ahead, Andy. The only way our offensive coordinator stays is if Danny Boy makes some fucking magic and says to him, hey, we have something special going on here. And you know there's something special going on there. There is, but I, I don't... I I, I think I, if... You, I mean... I don't see him staying. I don't see him staying. Here, here's the deal that these coaches don't realize. Take take the uh, the best opportunity. Don't just take the first opportunity because you may never you may go to a team that you're trying to rebuild and you just can't do it and you, you never get a head coaching job again. Stay where you're at, a coach who loves you, a team that loves you. Stay until all of a sudden that perfect opportunity comes about. But these guys can't do that. Where would he go? Cleveland. Where? Yeah, where would he go? Where would where would our offensive coordinator go? I mean, a big one right now would be the L.A. Rams. Sorry, the Chargers. Chargers. Can the Chiefs lose the last three to the Raiders, Bengals, and Chargers? If that happens and we win our next three, we win the division and make the playoffs, I think. Yeah, yeah, because they're three games ahead. So if they lose, the Chiefs are no good. So let me see. I, I'm not. Saying they're not no good, but the Chiefs, they're on. They're on the. They're on the clock. <laughs> they are. They're. I think. I think they're that. 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 Um. What do you call it? It's not like, fran. Uh, not franchise, but that dynasty. I think is starting to break up. Yeah. So if they lose the next three games, they'll be nine and eight. If we win the next three games, we'll be nine and eight. So, yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, these next three weeks are going to be fucking nuts, dude. Oh, it's. I hated that ring around the rosy, that thing that Casey did. Yet I remember when Gruden beat Casey a year or two earlier. The team rode in buses around the stadium when they, the team rode in buses around the stadium when they beat the Chiefs. I mean, it's. I'm not into that uh, stupid shit. I that that's Eagles, guess who has number one spot available. What's so, that? What with the Eagles losing this past week? Guess who has the number one spot available? What are you talking about? For what? The number one spot for what? Number one spot for NFC North. Oh, the, NFC. the the 49ers. Now, the Lions, 
Yeah. No, the the the, the 49ers are eleven and three right now. Oh shit. Yeah. The Lions are ten and four. Cowboys and Eagles are ten and four. Really, those are the only two teams. Those are the only four teams. I mean, that should be. God damn it! You're right. What? Fuck. Yeah. I'm just looking at. I, I just know that because I'm looking at the standings. I think we're borrowing a few pages from Adam Gase's playbook. Is that the Lions? Who's Adam Gase's? Gase's. Do. Uh... Cap, what's up? We're making the playoffs. Oh, dude, yeah. You should have made the playoffs last year. Let's see. Stu, what's up, Stu? What do you think about this? We hire AP as head coach. Like it. Hugh Jackson as our offensive Adrian coordinator. Adrian Peterson? No, uh, no. Um, Antonio Pierce. Okay. Remember the, the linebacker? Yeah, no, I... I he is. Yeah. Uh, combine that with keeping Tay Devontae while trading for Justin Fields. No, I Lake Show, I don't think, I don't I mean, I don't, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Justin Fields is a good quarterback. He is. No, he is. He is a very good quarterback. And he's not, he scrambles when he needs to, he he wants to throw it first. I liked him when he was at Ohio State. Again, I, I'm just gonna say I'm I'm Aiden O'Connell. I'm just telling you. I mean, this give this kid some fucking time, dude. I'm telling you, man. The fucking yeah, I think Justin Fields is gonna be a great quarterback. No, I said no. Aiden O'Connell, give him time. Yeah, well, I said Justin Fields. You fuck. Yeah, but what about Justin Fields? What are we gonna bring him in too? He's going to be a good quarterback. I know. For who? The Bears. Everybody has Caleb Williams going number one to the Bears. I don't think it's going to happen. Braylon Esom signed with Miami, Ohio today. And how has your NFL career changed the way you look at football now? Logan Meyer? Logan? That's... Steve's little brother, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> yeah. No. So Bray Braylon Esom's a receiver at Heritage that broke the state record for touchdowns. Yeah. Yeah, he signed with Miami of Ohio. I find that weird. I I think he'll play one year there and show what he can do, and he'll he'll end up moving up to division uh, to a, a a power five conference. Yard. To all, Stu, remember how many times our coaches would say we've had a good week of practice and then, st st yeah. Yeah. Let's see. DeLong, what up? So far, so, so from what I saw from AOC is his first start with the Chargers didn't go well. But last week, he showed me he learned from that. Yeah, so his first start were against the Chargers. We had a chance to win, but our offensive line, he got sacked, I think, five times. And a shitty play play calling had him throw a pick at the end. Uh, I feel AOC will play a lot better this week against the, the Queese. Yeah, he will. Absolutely, he fucking will. Hell yeah, DeLong. I knew you were going to win. I knew we were going to win, but I had no idea that would be such a blowout. I mean, yeah, I don't think anybody could call. I mean, no one could fucking call that. I mean, it was like almost the per. It was almost the perfect fucking game, Andy. It was un. It was unbelievable. That was a pretty good win. I'll tell you that, dude. I also did call Jack Jones, the corner we picked up three weeks ago, that he was going to have a big game and he had a pick six. But what again, Andy? What the fuck do I know? You don't know anything. I know, right? No one listens to me. You don't. Stu doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. No. Nope. Let's tank. Why are we celebrating a win? Let's tank to get a higher draft pick and draft, you know, the kid from LSU. No, you ain't getting Caleb Williams. Let's do that. What? I thought you were all high on a fucking Aiden O'Connell. I'm being sarcastic right now, you fucking moron. Fucking hate you. 
Take your post balloon fucking you know poster what? down. Goddamn fucking. And fucking paint your fucking hair. garage. Yeah, clean your fucking hair. I'm so, I'm so sick of your fucking drywall. Clean your hair already. I wash it, dude. I wash in fucking conditioner. Oh. See how shiny that fucker is? You know my birthday's coming up soon on the 25th. Yeah, well, I don't care. Let's see. Do we really need to draft the QB? My mind has changed. The one thing Aiden needs is the mobility. But but no. He can get out of the pocket and extend plays. He will be great. He can do that. Again. Can he, though? Yeah. You think so? I mean, I've, I've watched him play for the last five years. I don't know. I think... Maybe being a little biased, dude. He can he can move around to create time to throw it. I don't want, dude. Does does fucking Herbert run all over the place? Does fucking uh, Matt Stafford run over all the place? Does fucking Her- golf Her- run yeah. around? Does golf run around all over the place? <laughs> does does the kid in Jacksonville run all over the place? Does Minchu run all over the place? No. Guess who doesn't run all over the place? Jared I, just told you, I just told you five or six guys that don't run around all over the place. Jared Goff. I just said that. He doesn't run all over the place. I don't remember Aaron Rodgers running around too much. I don't remember Drew Brees running around too much. Tony Romo running around too much. I don't remember uh, Peyton Manning running around or Eli Manning running around. Ever. Ever. Uh, let's see who else. Um, I don't remember fucking um, who was the who was the quarterback for the the uh, that one in Baltimore in two thousand. Fucking, I don't remember Hasselback running around too much. Remember Kyle Bowler? Kyle Bowler from Cal. Yeah. McNair didn't run around too much. Uh, who else? Let's uh, Tom Brady didn't run around too much. Dan Marino didn't run around too much. I just the the mobile quarterback. I'm not into it. It's just it. It'll win you some games and will never win you a championship. It'll win you some games. It'll never win you a championship. I want to welcome everybody, Captain Jack. To the group here, Captain. Welcome. How you doing there, shipmate? Good to see you as well. And hey, Captain. Hey, this is my close friend Andy. Andy, this is Captain Jack Rackham. He's one of the uh, Raider um, uh, Black Hole Legends. Hey, nice to nice to meet you. Nice to see you, Jack. Good to good to meet you as well, there, sir. I have heard him talk about you. Said my my buddy Andy. So yes, it, it is. It, uh, your 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 uh, friendship with Stu precedes you. Stu, you do look like Rasputin, though. I mean, if we're going back in in history, you look you like Rasputin. Let's be, let's, let's be honest. Hey, me and Rasputin have more than just hair in common. Heritage? No, he's got like a fucking huge cock. Who? Who does? Ra- Rasputin. Oh, I was gonna say it, not me. <laughs> yeah, they actually, it's, it's actually. I think it. I think you can still. I think it's still around. But yeah, we 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 have more than just hair in common. Okay. Hi, Andy. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll I'll take I'll take your word for it on that one. You know, uh, because I, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not going into into this match and, and go like yeah I, I I'm out. I'll be I'll be like the guy the the people in Seinfeld it's like yeah I'm out. You know. Well, listen. Okay, so so. Way in here, Cap, sir. Way in. Well, what, 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 well, we, we, I, I, as I've been listening, there's been a lot of different things coming on, and uh, the one thing I will say as well is that if we're talking about what we are doing for the rest of the season and for next year, 
it all will predicate on to winning the next three games because you got you got to win the next three games to even talk about the the playoffs and i know that p word you know it's like uh yeah i don't i won't even go into the playoffs 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 you know we got yeah. we got to we got to take care of our own business first okay that can happen the way that the chiefs have been playing as of late they almost lost three games in a row they lost the prior two and they came out and they they i they i would not say they played a stinker in new england but new england had them for a while and then you kind of let them off the hook at the end. And had they had they lost to New England, I would have said that our chances of catching them where they would have been in a, a, a place where they would lose four straight games would have been that much harder to do. But the fact is that they lost to, they squeaked out over Belichick in New England, and we're getting them when they're not at their best that Mahomes is a whiny bitch and has been for quite a while. He's not playing up to his standards. If you punch him in the face and get him off his base, <coughs> pardon me, he'll make mistakes because he was making mistakes those games that they lost. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. having he's having a fucking – it's not been his best year. Oh, hey, Andy, by the way, captain lives in Tampa. Yeah. By Dino. Yep. I, and and not that not for nothing. I'm hoping for front row seats next year. <laughs> just, hey, just, just saying. One of my one of my one of my players that I from Purdue that's down there uh, is Payne Durham, tight end that's been playing a little bit more here towards the end of the season. Who's I think is going to be a good player for Tampa. Anyways, not for nothing, but you got the hookups. Okay. Well, no, actually, my guy, my guy's not there anymore. Ah, ah, okay. yeah, my guy's not there. Dino is not there anymore. Gosh darn it! Okay, oh, of course, sorry. of course, the year before they come down to Tampa. Let me ask you this, and I want Andy's opinion, but I want yours first, Jack. Yes, sir. Give me your take on the mobile quarterback. Well, it's it's needed. You can't have a statue back there. You can't have a statue back there. Those days are long gone. Because the NFL is quick twitch. you got to be able to move. You don't necessarily need to be a, a, a Fran Tarkington or a Michael Vick or somebody along those lines. But you need to be able to move, spin around, get out of trouble. That is a, a, a something that needs to be in the NFL of today. If you are standing back there like a statue and if you're curling up, when the defense is coming at you, not that I'm going to mention any names, but he's no longer on our team. Okay. You're, 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 you're going to be, uh, who I'd love to see failure. back with us, but, but you know what? I like what we got with, with, with what going forward. Okay. Give me a no Connell who has shown me enough as oh, a wait, 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 hold on. Your, your comment you made, you're talking about a defensive end, right? Who would you say? You said a guy who – what would you say? I'm talking about uh, the, the former quarterback. That oh, no fuck was... him. Yeah, fuck him. That's what I'm saying, okay? That, and, that was one of Andy's favorite players, believe it or not. Okay, I'm just he saying – He loved Derek Carr. When when when, uh, when the guy curls up like, like a bull weevil when he's about to, ready to get sacked, you can't have that in today's NFL. No, yeah. Andy, form- li- Andy liked him when he was at Fresno State. But that former defensive end that you talk about, I said I'd love for him to come back to our yes. team because, first off, I got three or four jerseys of his I will not wear until such a time that he either retires or he comes back a la Woodson because I won't wear a 52 jersey. And I, I, think got, he'll game, be back. I got game We're- jersey. I, I hope he'll be back. Because I think you will. put him on the other side with Max, with Coons coming in to spell him, and you have Tyree Wilson who's just getting better as he learns the, the, the NFL and he's getting farther away from his plantar fasciitis injury. You put Mac and Crosby on, on bookends with other people to come in, that's great. Yeah. That's the way it should be. All you right, know, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Because you can get long-winded sometimes. I, I know I can. Okay. Andy, Coming mobile up. quarterback thoughts. He's a 
says something about only, only be good about uh, mobile quarterback. All I'm saying, Jared Goff, five touchdowns. So wait, 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 hold on. You broke up there. So broke up are, a lot. What, what your thoughts? Are you? Do you like the mobile quarterback, or do you like the guy who has some mobility, but he's a thrower? No, I want somebody that is an actual quarterback, like Jared Goff. Thank you. And yep. stays in the pocket and passes for five touchdowns, and beats the absolute fucking shit out of Denver Broncos. Great, because yeah, I'm I'm thinking this. And that's what I that's what I'm saying. You you need somebody to move around. You don't have to have a scrambler. You don't have to have somebody that that's going to be the the uh, the quarterback that's going to get injured. You just need somebody to move to get out of the pocket, a la that asshole in Kansas City, because he can move around <laughs> and throw and then throw and throw and get the get the passes done right. And, and wait, hold on, Anthony. I want to say this. He looked average as fuck all year. Remember, this kid's a rookie. He's had two different head coaches, two different offensive coordinators. And if you listen to anyone, again, don't listen to me because what the fuck do I know? I don't know shit hey, about the NFL, apparently. I'm not hating on Aiden. I'm not hating on Aiden. No, 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 no. I'm, no. Verduzco, but, I'm, talking, I'm talking to Anthony Provencio. Yeah. Again. Well, you, want, you want to talk about a pro and somebody who knows what he's doing. Well, Jared Goff, five touchdowns in the pocket. Well, that, 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 that valids my point. But what I'm saying is, is, is don't even listen to me. Just, just, just pull up Chase Daniels evaluation of Aiden O'Connell and listen to Trent green. Talk about Aiden O'Connell. These are former NFL quarterbacks. Talk about the precision of his throws and what he's been doing and his progression and, if you say average as fuck, I, I I don't know how you can say that. I don't know how you can say average as fuck. And then and then remember, hey, Andy, remember I said that no matter what, Raiders fans, not all of them, but, but there are there are Raiders fans. No matter if we win by a hundred, have a great game, there's still something they want to, you know, downplay. Again, they're gonna bitch the, and Raider fans yeah, are not right here. Arguably the history. shittiest defense in the league. I don't care. I don't care. Listen to this, guys. It could have been a field of fucking pumpkins out there. It's hard to score 63 or whatever the fuck points. I don't give a shit who you are. I give so much credit to that organization. And, and again, I had this conversation with, with, with uh, I don't know, Wasted or Docs, but those guys are still in the fucking NFL. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck who you're talking about. Those guys are the elite of the elite of the elite. And they're getting paid a lot of money, so they're not shit. So the fact that you can go in there, because here's the deal. All right, let me say this, Anthony. Who do you want at quarterback? Who do you, who, who do you want at quarterback, and why do we need a mobile quarterback? Why do we? I, I don't think Rich Gannon was a mobile quarterback, was he? He moved. He moved out of the pocket to get the ball to where he needed. He wasn't. He wasn't a runner. Very rarely did he run, but he yeah. would run for those first downs when he needed it. But he was not known to be a running quarterback. It was a smart quarterback that ran when he needed to, and got the first downs when he needed well, to. But he was. He was mobile, but he wasn't a running quarterback. Oh, so here you go, Anthony. Again, he's a rookie, but he's twenty-five years old. Well, I don't know what that, what does that mean? It doesn't matter how old somebody is. It matters their time in the NFL. So just because somebody's older doesn't mean he's more experienced. Again, I want to ask you, Anthony, who would you like to see at quarterback? Who would you like to see? I agree with this guy. I'm not saying Aiden has to be a scrambler. I want him to be mobile. I want him to move around the pocket. Yeah, that, that, what fucking, that, here's the thing, guys. What quarterback can't do that, though? Are they going to draft? I mean, what quarterback nowadays 
can't move at all. Garoppolo. I was gonna I thank you. I was just gonna say that Garoppolo. And what's he what, what how's his he's career not, been? He's not playing. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise like, known as this garbage Oppolo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, a, a, a guy's gonna be able to do this, to do this, to be able to uh, you know come out right and throw. Now, is he is he gonna fucking run the option? No, but I don't want to run the option. If I want to run the ball, I'm going to hand it to the guy I'm paying $25 million to that his whole life has played running back and knows how to fucking run the ball. Just like if I'm going to throw it, I'm going to let the quarterback throw it. Not a fucking receiver or running back throw it or tight end. I'm going to have the quarterback fucking throw it. But I don't want a quarterback doesn't practice enough on carrying the ball. Look at, look at Jackson and these guys. They fumble a shit ton. Mm-hmm. And they're one play, they're one scramble and hit away from it being over with. Right? I just I I don't I, the 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 risk outweighs the reward to me. Like I said, a flashy quarterback that can run will win you some games. By the end of the year, he's gonna get worn out. His body's getting beat up. He's he doesn't have the body of a fucking running back. Or a fucking tight end. He doesn't know how to take hits like a receiver. Right? So his body is going to get fucking beat up and trashed by the end of the year. So you're going to win some games? Yeah. They're not going to win a championship. It's just not. It's, 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 it's. Why, why didn't Kaepernick win when the Ravens played him? Look at, you had Kaepernick, one of the most athletic quarterbacks in the, in the league at that time. Look at the other guy. A fucking quarterback from Maine. I don't think he was very mobile, was he? But the Ravens fucking won. And those teams were pretty even. I mean, shit, two brothers both had really good defenses. So you can't say, oh, well, Baltimore had a you know, it was better defense. 49ers had a hell of a defense too. But right there, I think you look at those two matchups, and I think that outcome is going to happen 99% of the time. I, I mean, I- Jalen Hurts, he's probably about the most – Mobile quarterback that's won a championship. Wait, did he win a championship? He didn't. Wait, no. Did they win? No, they didn't win. No. So he won the he won the NFC championship. There you go. But yeah. he didn't win the Lombardi. No, and that's all that fucking matters. Mm-hmm. And and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, throw throw a little bit of sauce here. There. Oh shit! Because. Just to, hey, hey, Cap, just tell Andy to fuck off, please. Okay, well, sir, fuck off. Okay, I was thinking, <laughs> Okay. Uh, you have Champ Kelly coming as will probably, if things go the way that they are, will be the, the general manager. With his roots in Chicago, I have a strong feeling that he will try to get Justin Fields to come over so that there is a viable quarterback competition. Because everybody say that we need a quarterback competition and a vet. Okay. If if Kelly is the GM, if Kelly is the GM, and you have a a, a quarterback of Justin Fields' stature, and again, I'm not up in in the Midwest, but things have happened where quarterbacks have, have changed scenery and done quite well. I give you Jim Plunkett. I give you Rich Gannon. Okay, so if you have Matthew Matthew Stafford, Matthew Stafford, even even Jared Goff yep. on the switch yep. as well. Yep, yep. So for those that are for those that are saying, well, he's only a rookie, and we need a competition. There might just be that competition that you're talking about next year if Kelly remains the GM. And he brings Justin Fields over for, I that's, would say, a pittance. That's fucking stupid. Uh, sir, I'm just saying, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. And I know that there are certain there are certain that's people that there are certain but uh, I, um, talking heads here, not here here, but on YouTube, they're always saying, "Oh man, you got to see, you got to see the smoke and mirror." You know, Justin Fields. It's not out of the realm of possibilities if Kelly remains GM. 
I'm not saying that I'm for it. I'm just saying it might happen. Here's the problem. What you're telling me is that you're saying, even though they have Trevor Fields, they have the number one pick overall. Mm -hmm. And they could possibly pick Caleb They got Lewis. two picks in the top four. You think they're going to pick Caleb fucking Williams? No. No, no, no. The actual the draft board from what I, from what the forgot. Yeah, I, mean, I just want to say this real quick though. Remember, Caleb Williams is six foot one, two hundred fifteen pounds. He's not very fucking big. And right. you know what? I, think I don't want. Trevor I don't. I don't want to. I don't want a fucking guy that jumps in the stands and fucking cries with his mom. You want that to be our Raiders quarterback? And we talk no. about the Raiders are the fucking badasses of the NFL. Are you shitting me? No. Right and, there. And, and, I don't and, care. I don't care how. Fuck that. Fuck that. If you were, if the Raiders are going to go get a quarterback in the first round, okay, and if they continue to win, that pick is going to be in the in the like uh, fifteen. So what? So let's days. say they take a quarterback in the first round. So he comes in and he's the starter and Aiden's the backup? No, you got to have that quarterback competition because even Derek Carr, when he was here, he won that out of camp over the kid that they got from the Texans and he won it outright. So if Aiden O'Connell beats whoever they pick, it all depends on what well, then we just, If that happens, we just wasted a first round fucking pick on a backup. Makes no sense. Oh, that's our fucking. That's why. That's why we fucking. Hello. It depends upon who the offensive coordinator will be that comes in on this staff, right, Stu? Because it's the offensive coordinator that's going to dictate to the uh, the head coach and the GM what source and what plays he's going to implement and what quarterback is going to be best for that system. If it's Aiden O'Connell, they're not going to waste the first round pick on somebody. But if it's not Aiden O'Connell, they're going to go with a quarterback that they think will be the guy. Correct? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if – and let's just – because you were talking about Adam Gase. And, and uh, Adam Gase, who was with the Broncos, with the Jets, who was the head coach of Miami before they drummed him out of town, He's a he was a good offensive mind, right? Shitty head coach. But he had the, the offensive mentality, kind of like uh, like a modern day North Turner. Great offensive mind, shitty head coach. Yeah, so there's, there get, is a, yeah, no, there 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 is a huge difference. You are absolutely right, right on that. So if you get a OC, worth, I got you, Anthony. If they're if they get an OC worth assault, and let's just say that let's just say that the staff remains semi the same. You got AP as the head coach under a Kelly leadership. So you got Graham because the defense is just playing, you know, balls to the wall, lights out. You need an offensive coordinator. You bring in an offensive coordinator, it's going to be that guy. And Bo, nothing against Bo, but Bo is auditioning for a job down the road because I don't think Bo, unless he's got, uh, you know, a bunch of sheets in the background that we don't know about, it's very hard to install – a new offensive system halfway or two thirds through. No, you're season. yeah, you're you're going to add some wrinkles, but right, yeah. But you're playing with the playbook of the schmuck that came before you. So unless Bo has that Ooh. in in his, and and I I kind of I don't want nothing to do with Caleb Williams, basically because hold on, wait, 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 and Anthony, I, I like your comments because it creates conversation. So don't think any of us are whatever, but. He says that Aiden in six starts had enough time to develop. Is that fuck no? Is Come that on, how is that is that how fast we are nowadays that you have to prove yourself in six your first six fucking games? What'd you do, Andy? Fucking plug the toilet. Jesus. Hey Anthony. Oh, Chris Wenke, propane tank. Chris, hey, Anthony, Chris Wenke was 27 years old coming off a of Heisman when he was first put into the pros with the Panthers. 
27 years well, old. Well, listen, it let me let me matter. he's a rookie. No, here, here's the deal. So a lot of guys had that COVID year where the year didn't count. That's where a lot of guys got to come back and they got extra time. So that's why there's a there's quite a few players that have been in college for five, six years during those COVID years. So that's not it's not anything out of the ordinary at all. Yeah. And he, he did that extra red shirt year, which is why he got knocked back yeah. another year. Yes, yes. I want a three QB camp competition. Second year man is AOC. Second year man in AOC, rookie as in Bo Nix or as in Bo Nix. Bo, Bo Nix is the. Yeah. Wait, who's Bo, Bo Nix out of Oregon? Jane Daniels, the Heisman Trophy. I'll tell you what, to be honest with you, the, the the two if we if we did draft a quarterback, fuck Bo Nix, fuck Jaden Daniels, JJ McCarthy from Michigan is a fucking stud. You're biased as hell though. Whoa. How am I biased? You're biased from your conference. And I'm a state fan. You're biased from the from the conference, man. I I, I, I love you, Sue. Or but- listen, no no no. JJ McCarthy or the kid from fucking North uh no uh North Carolina May. That kid is a fucking stud. Yeah. A yeah. fucking and, and like I said, stud. McCarthy McCarthy might be that guy, but when you talk about quarterbacks that everybody's talking about, they're saying McCarthy's like, oh. lost one game as a starter for the University of fucking Michigan, and he's about to win a national championship. If if Michigan can get past Alabama, most certainly. I'm telling you, dude, it's it's he's a fucking That's a fucking farce. That's a fucking farce because Alabama shouldn't even fucking be in this goddamn conversation. Well, yeah, they you know what? Be. I I would I would take Alabama over fucking Florida fucking state every every day in six ways from Sunday. Better no, the way you fucking play is be it should be the way. You play the way you get paid. And then motherfuckers were undefeated. That's a bull fucking shit statement. And I'm telling you right now, Nick fucking goddamn Saban pulled his goddamn cock out and said, hey, if you want me to stay in this conference, then you're going to suck my fucking dick. That's what he said. I, I do not Ooh, like so, wait, wait. So, yeah, I do so, not like so, Nick Saban. So, so, but, but I think, but I think Alabama and Georgia. Okay, Georgia. I'll take Georgia all day long. Right, and again, now again, I'm showing, I'm showing my bias as an SEC guy. I'm showing, but I'm letting you know that up front. I'm showing my bias as an SEC guy, but Alabama and Georgia and Texas, they deserve to be in that mix. But because Alabama won the SEC, they got it. Oh, the, so, 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 the, I, I, I got, yeah, I got, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I can understand that. It's a, it's a flaw, dude. It's a flawed system. It's a it flawed is, system. but and flawed it's gonna, it's gonna go away for the most part. For the most part, I say for the most part next year when they go to twelve, and then the guy, and then the team that's number thirteen is going to be bitching that they should. It's going to be bitching, but yeah, because they got fucked. Yeah, it right. don't matter what. But at least, at, at least, I mean, you're getting the top twelve team, right? You know, and I like, like that. Yeah, I like that. I like because that. really the top ten. I think any of the top ten teams can beat each other. Yeah, let them fucking battle it out, right? Top four, like that's just not enough. It's not. I enough. agree. I agree, and and I do like the fact that they are going to a twelve tourney, so that it, they fight it out, kind of like March Madness, because you got variety, you have different styles, different conferences, and the way you can win in, you get the twelve best teams, and you really can say these are the twelve best teams, and we're gonna play, and what any given Saturday. Whoever wins goes to the next round. Here's here's what here's what I think. Because all these teams, if they don't, what Andy? I said, here we go. Yep. So here. listen up. Take fucking notes. Yeah. Here's we. Here's what you think. Um, because the the besides the four teams that make the national championship, all of the other teams, all of their fucking key players 
aren't going to play in a fucking bowl game. That's so the true. bowl games are shit. So what I think you do, you extend it out. I don't know how many how many bowl games are there. Uh, many, it's about thirty, I think. So right. that'd be six. So let's say put it to thirty-two. Yeah. Have sixty-four fucking teams, just like the right, isn't that in, in the NCAA playoff for basketball? Sixty-four teams. How could you about not? That. How could you not make it stupid? Uh, the same way the fucking goddamn college basketball shit. That's is. what I'm saying, right? Is it, say, is, it, Mark, is it sixty-four? Mark, is it sixty-four teams? Actually, I think it used to be sixty-four. Then you had the guys that play in because they said, "Well, we it can't be. Uh, it's got to be more." Because well, whatever. Know, yeah. Yep. Yeah. They have to play you put that many teams, 60, and then what teams. you have yeah. is those bowl games that are in place now. Are keep, is the tournament? Yeah, keep those bowl games and yeah, keep them alive. Because here's the deal. You're telling me that the first round, whatever bowl game that is, that those crowds aren't going to be fucking packed to see their team who still has a chance to move on? Yeah. And plus, it gives a chance to, you know, have have a, a Michigan play fucking, I don't know, Michigan play South, South Carolina State out in Utah or something. You know what I'm saying? Like To have Michigan play Ohio State again. Yeah, well... What? What the? F- what? It gives you the chance to have Michigan. Yeah. Well, yeah, it get, yeah, like I said, but it allows these bowl bowl games to actually have people go to because no one fucking no, these bowl. I guess yeah, and, and that's true, and that's true, and like you were saying that, and for the folks that are saying that that were you know about Florida, Florida State, Florida State played Florida in the national championship after they played their grudge match game, and it was one of the better national championship games where Werfel beat Florida State when Florida State had won in the regular season. You can have Michigan play Ohio State again. You can have Well, and then also, too, though, I think it's fucked up that these conference championship games could fuck a team out of the fucking – their chance, you know, teams undefeated, and they go – like Michigan goes and gets beat by Iowa. Then what the fuck happens? Well, but but see, that's that's portion – of, of the game that you're going to have. Because, again, when you start with the conference champions, everybody was thrown on that the conference championships are so important to get to the Final Four. That's why when they said you have the Big Four, and this was the Yeah, but you, five, almost, you, you almost get punished for, for, for having a great regular season by having to play another game where you might lose. But that was what, the, that was what they did in order to get to the four – the college football playoff. They 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 ranked that the, the conference champions were that much important. That's why the, so if the Iowa beats Michigan. Iowa makes it in, in in the present scheme. Yes, but not. Are you not shitting anymore. me? Wait a second. In the present scheme, with the four teams that they had, they were ranking a conference champion over what they did in the regular season, which is why when Georgia beat, beat, uh, sorry, when Alabama beat Georgia, that was more of a, uh, of a, of a fix than it was that Georgia was undefeated the entire year. But Florida state who it was undefeated from a joke, from a joke conference, ACC. Okay. That's why they were left off. Because Texas deserved it, and Georgia deserved it, and Alabama deserved it. And I'm sorry, Bull but that's the way it shit. is. Bull fucking shit. Bull fucking shit. No. So hold, hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Florida State, Florida State hold on. served, God damn it, to make – God – Florida State deserved to make that goddamn championship. They made – they deserve to make that fucking goddamn playoff. I don't give a fuck who the fuck who you are. I don't care. Florida State deserved to make that championship. I don't care if their fucking quarterback went down. They're a power can five you, conference. Can you can you can you tell me with a straight fucking face? Get him, fucking cat. Get him, face. That the Florida State Seminoles are better than the Alabama. Or Georgia or Texas. Tell me with a straight fucking face that nope. that team that team is better. Bull I'll fucking say, shit. Fucking now. It if doesn't matter. Ain't it? No. 
the way they had it, it was the four best teams in football. And Florida State is not one of the four best teams in football. And you're telling me Georgia isn't one of the four best teams? They got dropped out because Alabama beat them in the championship game. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm not saying it's fair. Dude. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold on. Hey, and, if, you're gonna, if you're gonna have it on my way, I would have Georgia and Alabama and Texas and Michigan. And I would have left fucking Washington out. And you know what? I agree with you 100 percent There you go. Wait, 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 wait. Tell me about this conference win conference championship game winner. What what what's what's the thought process behind that, Cap? The thought process on that when they were doing the four for the college football playoff was that a conference champion that held weight. That held weight. So okay. when a team like Georgia played Alabama, these guys are two powerhouses that if you have a conference champion win, that guy's going to hold more weight. But the other reason why that unfortunately Georgia got fucked is at least they fucked over Georgia over Florida State. But they were going to make sure that Texas got in because of the Texas-Alabama game was so great in the first time, and they deserved to get in, okay? But if, like I said, if you're telling, if you're asking me, and nobody fucking asks me, Stu, because they don't listen to me just like they don't listen to you. Well, yeah, I, you're, you're, well, you don't know shit just like I don't. I don't know shit. I don't know shit. But if you ask me the four best teams in college football, Georgia, Alabama, Texas, and Michigan. And that's it. Straight up. But that's not what happened. Say that again. You said Georgia, Alabama, Georgia, Texas, Alabama, and Michigan. Georgia, Alabama, Texas, and Michigan. Totally agree. Totally agree. God, it's so hard. I mean. Totally I'm agree. I'm just looking at the top 25 here and. I, I would I would just. I mean, I, I would just. Uh, Is anybody going to be surprised if Alabama wins the fucking national championship? No. No, I wouldn't. So the only team Alabama lost to, right, was was Texas? Was Texas. Yeah, because just to go just just what my question was about the conference winning, because I'm, I'm looking at last year, for instance. Purdue from the West won the West and played Michigan, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say they beat Michigan they make the fucking playoffs with an eight and fucking five record. Like I'd, ha fuck? I'd have to see, I'd have to see who the other people were, but they hold that as a as a higher plum okay. at the very end. And when it comes down to tiebreakers and shit like that, now practically with an eight and five record, they would probably win the made it. But let's say that their record was a little bit better. Let's say that they were uh, nine and two, and they beat Michigan. Okay. Yeah. They beat Michigan with a 9-2 record. That has more of prestige because they would have won the Big Ten championship. Now, I just I, 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 I just record, I, no. I just have to look at it. And, and you have two teams with losses on their on their record, and then you have a team that went fucking undefeated and they didn't make it. I I I, I kind of have a I have a problem with that. I don't give a, a fuck about C C. I don't, but I don't give a fuck. It's it's. I mean, you gotta think if you go undefeated, you don't get a chance to win a national championship. I mean, that's fucking kind of shitty. That's why the like Florida Seminoles are considering changing conferences. And, and and Florida State has been asked. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. Pretty soon, the pack the pack ten is going to be gone. Right. The ACC is going to be gone. Yeah. It's literally going to be like the AFC and NFC. It's going to be the Big Ten and yep. the and the fucking SEC. Yeah. And it'll That's be fucking it. regions. Yeah. That basically. Right. That's I mean, the Big is. Twelve. The Big Twelve ain't shitty. I mean, no. talk about the Big Twelve. The Big Twelve's fucking garbage. Right. And, talk and about ACC. The, the Big Twelve the ain't Big shit. 12, they went over to the SEC because the SEC. I mean, the Big Twelve. Colorado, Kansas, fucking TCU, fucking Baylor, like shit, fucking garbage. Uh, uh, 
uh, Iowa State, Kansas State. Like, what the fuck? No, it's 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 going towards the direction where it should be. The only reason fucking Texas is because of beating Alabama is the only reason they're fucking in there. And that's bull. I, I, I think Florida State should make it over fucking Texas. Wait, no. Texas I think Florida, made it, right? It's it's Michigan, it's Michigan, Washington, Texas. No, Texas and, and Alabama. Alabama, right? Texas is in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Florida State should definitely have been over fucking Texas. Dude. And I'll, I'll put the ACC head-to-head with the fucking Big 12. Not this year, not with that team. Texas like said, fucking chokes every fucking time. And 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 under in under those circumstances, when they get to the when they get to the tourney, because Texas plays Washington. If Washington wins, then you are vindicated. But I think I think whoever I'm not, wins, I'm, I'm, I I'm, not in, I'm not into the Pac ten either. I think right. Washington's a fucking scam. Thank you. And I say whoever wins between Alabama and Michigan is going to be the eventual national champion. Is that who plays in the first round? Yes, Alabama is playing Michigan. See, that's fucking bullshit. And then you have, then you have just like, just like last Florida. year, just like last year, the the way it was fucking set up, I thought was fucking bullshit. I, I, I Stu, I agree with you there, but that's just the way that they they rigged it. Rigged it. Yeah, they. Got, I mean, you, you have to have more teams, right? I mean, that's 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 the that's. And, and, that that is, right? and, and that is one of the reasons why that the Pac-12 basically ceased to exist because they said, we don't need to be in a shitty fucking conference that nobody watches us because of the time difference. We're going to go to wherever because they're going to 12 teams. So the best 12 teams are going to go no matter where they are, no matter what conference they are in. Although the SEC and the Big Ten – Basically, have the have the the college football by the balls most of the time. Here, here's a perfect example: fucking Boise State playing Oklahoma. Remember that? I remember. No that. reason, Boise. Yeah, conferences bullshit. They went out and fucking beat Oklahoma. Yeah, on, on the Statue of Liberty play and a couple other wonderful trick plays. I come on, Stu. I know this shit too. That's what I'm saying. But dude, they beat a fucking Adrian Peterson, Oklahoma. And and that is just like. You have a 16 seed beat a one seed in the tournament. It's those games that you remember because the, the little guy beating the big guy is something you always remember. And that is what they want in this 12 team tournament. I agree with this. I agree with that. I mean, Texas is good, but they just got back back up. They've been shit for the last, I mean, for God knows how long. Yeah, I was gonna say Sarkeesian inherited a really good team that the the, the coach that used to be there prior, who was with uh, USF, and I can't remember his name. He did a lot of the recruiting, and that team that Sarkeesian, Sarkeesian inherited, man, that's my dog, dude. That motherfucker's crazy. Sarkeesian dude. inherited those guys from the from the gentleman that was the old USF coach, and I apologize, I can't remember his name. The guy that the guy that came in after uh, yeah, the African American guy that built up that team and they fucking fired his ass and so he, he came in after the guy that went uh, that went up to Nebraska right to, uh, from UC- Riley you wait did you say UCF no UCF. USF I think it was USF oh you know yourself no UCF us. UCF guy went to uh, the UCF guy went to Tennessee oh okay. Or, or or he went to Oklahoma and then, then he went to the, 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 yeah two different guys the, but yeah he was he was the head coach at USF uh, African American gentleman he was up at Florida State and then he went over to to uh, uh, Texas and he ran him out he and I'm I'm sure when you have uh, an African American guy at Texas need I say a lot more they weren't Anthony Anthony presents I mean Andy what do you think about this. Bama beats the number one team that hasn't lost in two years in Georgia. Texas beats Bama. Texas gets in on some rock, paper, scissor type shit. But that Texas Bama game, not that gonna one, well, that, that's what happened. 
That's, that's what happened. Happen. What are you talking about, Andy? That yes. didn't happen. That's that's what happened. Texas beat Bama. You fucking that idiot. Bama. That was Bama's only loss. And Andy. Bama beat Georgia. Andy. Andy. Yeah. Get your shit together. I got my fucking paint those fucking paint that drywall. Not gonna happen. What's not going to happen? It just fucking did happen. This is not going to happen. This this scenario right here? Yeah. It did happen. That's it what happened. happened. This year. Bama beats Georgia. Texas beats Bama. And Florida State goes right in the fucking uh, Pacific or uh, Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. And, oh, no, no, they're on the panhandle of the Gulf. Yeah, they're in the panhandle. So Florida State, when all is this said and done. Happens, dude. Okay. What's that, Andy? This isn't going to happen, I promise you. Okay. Well, that here's did, the thing. What are you talking about? That For, did fucking happen. It, it what are you talking happen. about? And that's why Florida State is playing Georgia in the Orange Bowl. And I tell Florida State people this. And, Stu, you made, you made the point that all the good players ain't going to play because when I went and saw my Gators last year in Vegas, I had no fucking clue who Dude, that team I, was. Oh, fuck. When, when Purdue was playing on a fucking big-time bowl game against uh, goddamn uh, who, who they played last year, fucking LSU, fucking eight of our guys didn't even fucking play. It was right. a fucking blowout. It was, it was embarrassing. And that's why I said that fucking. FSU is going to have a chance to redeem themselves against Georgia in the Orange Bowl. The problem is, is that all of the good players, because they're not in the national championship game no, race, that. they're not going to play. Georgia's not in the bowl. <laughs> no, no. Georgia, Georgia is playing FSU in the Orange Bowl, sir. But it won't, it won't, it won't be a true. Probably a true right. The good players are gonna are are gonna st sit on the side and and start working out for the combine. Oh well, fucking pansy ass motherfuckers, dude. Playing the fucking game, dude. I got you. I didn't see uh, Anthony. Bowl games used to fucking mean I, something, right. man. I didn't see Anthony Richardson last year. I had no fucking clue who the quarterback was for the Gators, and it wasn't the guy that was playing this year either, Mertz. I don't know because he came from uh, up in up in uh, your conference, Big Ten somewhere, and he came down and was a decent quarterback for the Gators. Where uh, where, where was Mert? Oh, Mertz was from. Uh, where Mertz was he from? from? He was from your Wisconsin. Conference. Yeah, he came down from Wisconsin. He was the Gators, and he played well. Graham, it was Graham Mertz, Andy. Right, Graham Mertz. Okay, Grant he, Graham Mertz. Yeah, the the, the Gators quarterback like, from Wisconsin. From Heritage. Oh, Jesus Christ. It was. Played, it was Graham Mertz. He, he played He played well this year. Oh, goddamn way. It was him. Gra basketball. Wasn't Graham Mertz the quarterback? At Florida this year. Yes, sir. No, we, we went to a high school with a kid named Graham Mertz, so I'm just no, fine. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, okay. Well, the last name was Mertz. I don't know what his. No, I, 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 I think I think his first name was Graham, though, because I was. Uh, that's what. What? It was. It wasn't him. What's that? <laughs> well, it's not the guys you played football with. No, might have been the son. Andy had a crush on his sister, Tara Mertz. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so that's why he's getting all pissed. Well, I actually, you guys, you guys remember, you guys remember Jeff Driscoll, right? The quarterback that played for the Niners and the Broncos and a couple teams like that. Played for Florida. Uh, he, he was Florida's quarterback. He was one of their court. One of their quarter because Florida has a lot of quarter. But he played quarterback for Florida. He played for the Niners. He played for the Broncos. He's a he's a uh, he's like a Jeff Brom. He's a good Jeff backup. Jeff Driscoll. Played for the Lion. He played for the Lions. Yeah, he what? played for the yeah. Uh, no, no he, played, he played for the Lions. Let's see. Uh Lions, Niners, Broncos. 2019. Yeah. 49ers, Bengals, Lions, Broncos, Texans, and Cardinals. Right. He's with the, he's with the Cardinals right now. Right. His father and I 
were classmates when we were but when we were uh, uh service brats down in the in the 70s and 80s so jeff driscoll's dad and i played you know to were, were like you know kids playing baseball together and his son went to the nfl and uh so yeah. andy in, in 2019 andy he uh Air. started three games for the lions he's only three in his in his three starts Hey, but you know what? Just like you said, Stu, how many people make the pros? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I'm just fucking with Andy because he's a huge Lions fan. This shit. What? Andy, what? I'm done with this whole who makes the fucking Pro Bowl shit. I don't care. Pro Bowl? We're not talking about the Pro Bowl. The Pro Bowl is a joke. The Pro Bowl doesn't even fucking mean anything anymore. By the way, speaking of the Pro Bowl, you're going to come down for the Pro Bowl, Stu. It's in Orlando. What, where, are they play, where are they playing it at? at fucking. They're playing it at downtown with the, uh, the the stadium downtown. It's not you. Can I play there in the Capital One Bowl? Right. Yeah. That's yeah. Stadium. Yeah. That's that's that's, where... that's uh. South Florida Stadium, isn't it? No, that's no. It's not UCF Stadium either because they got their own stadium. Who plays there then? No one. No one. Actually, the uh, I remember the um, Florida the, school, the Florida Tuskers played there in the in the UFL. I went down there. Right, right. And, 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 and but they and they the high school teams play there, like Jones High School and a couple of the other high schools. They use that as like for their championship in the region in Orlando. It used to be the Tangerine Bowl, and it was in the hood. Then well, they, they took it down and they made a nice stadium out of it. I know I think, because I'm from Orlando. Well, I think right? the Gator Bowl was down there too, right? No, the Gator Bowl was in Jacksonville. Okay. Andy, people are okay. saying uh, Penix from Washington might be a Raider. What do you think? No. Cap, no. what do you think? All depends upon no. who. Last time you fuckers drafted a quarterback? No. Didn't work out. Which well, time? Which time? You talking Jamarcus Russell or are you talking Derek Carr? I'm talking fucking Marcus Russell. Yeah, okay. You talking about a first round bust. So Penix, I'm telling you guys, Penix is injury prone. He's had two, two ma- I, I watched him when he was at Indiana. Yeah. He was a big uh, ten guy. Fuck my dad's too like who was the <laughs> yes. What? Are we are we gonna are we gonna fucking have the conversation about Marquis? We have to sobo? What about Mark? Oh Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Running your fucking ass over? Are we gonna talk about that or no? It never it never it never fucking happened. The fucking I don't know ass over because he was a bigger fucking dude and you know it. Two guys of Sopa was a hell of his whole family were great well, fucking they're, athletes. Yeah, they're big fucking Samoan people. Yeah. And Two Yas Sopa was a great friend of mine. He I was a great goddamn great fucking people. background music. Who the fuck were we talking about? What? I said I don't need no goddamn fucking background music. I hear background music. There's no background music, you fucking moron. You sure about that? I heard something somebody in the background. Captain? No, not me. Exactly. I knew I heard somebody in the background. Captain? Don't care. Don't you care. know what, Andy? I'm about to kick your fuck. You know what? You don't fucking kick shit. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> fucking mute your fucking ass. No. <laughs> Now I will say if the Raiders are going to get a fucking quarterback, definitely not fucking Penix. All the definitely. ability and injury prone. Definitely not Penix. I wouldn't think. Yeah, he's blowing. You no, know, both of his knees. Yeah, I mean that's. And again, he's a mobile guy, so he's going to be running, mm-hmm. and that's going to open him up. 
because here's the deal. When you're in the pocket, you 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 have protection. There are rules where you can't go low, right? But when you cross that line of scrimmage, those fuckers can fucking take your fucking legs out all day long. I guess we'll see. Hey, I, I see Cowtown Lutus talking about a kid from Tennessee. I'll be honest, uh, Cowtown, the last quarterback from Tennessee I paid attention to was Hendon Hooker, and he's on the Lions right now. I don't, <clears throat> I don't even remember who the Tennessee quarterback was this year because the Gators beat him. Well, two two years ago, Purdue beat Tennessee in a, in a fucking awesome bowl game, and they had a quarterback. I don't know if that was I don't Hooker. Know if he, it was two years ago. What's that? It was Hooker. If it was two years ago, because Hooker was a rookie this year. Oh, how did he do? He he was a pretty good quarterback. Yeah, that they were talking. They were talking about the Raiders get going and getting him in the third uh, third round or fourth round or whatnot. But the but the Lions got him. Oh, he's with the Lions. Do you yeah. know Hooker, uh, uh, Andy? I do. What do you think? I like it. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. I love it for sure. Oh, Joe Milton? I don't I honestly I don't I don't know enough about him to make to make a judgment call on that. Joe Sorry. Milton, he played at Michigan. Joe Milton? He probably <laughs> he, he probably caught caught behind McCarthy and went to the transfer <laughs> portal and and went somewhere where he can play, probably. Joe Milton. Who cares? Joe quarterback. Oh, Joe Milton's the Tennessee quarterback. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here he is. Oh, he ain't the goddamn Tennessee quarterback. 6'5, 6'5, 235. He's got the fucking body. He's our quarterback. No, we're not talking about Hooker anymore, sir. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, you fucking dickhead. Shut your fucking mouth. Dayton Daniels just turned 23 two days ago. Who? Jaden Daniels. And that and Anthony, that, why are you so why are you so obsessed with the age of these guys? The age doesn't matter. Hey, 25 is only two years older than, than uh 23 there, Anthony, and, and he's in the pros right now. Point is, it doesn't matter what his age is, it's what his ability is. Okay. Yeah. It's what his ability is, okay? It doesn't matter. Because if you have the longevity, kind of like, for example, Bo Nix has gotten the most starts as a college player because he went from Auburn to Washington. He played all those different years. Well, the kid from LSU, this is his fucking fifth year, isn't it? Sixth year? Uh yeah, he transferred over as well. And and he's he was he was I mean he played uh, he played three years. He played three years with Arizona State and two years with LSU. Right. (laughs) Right. And that's it. So it's like it's a matter of uh, progressing and and getting your ability and honing it. I don't know, Cowtown. I'm I'm asking the same thing. I don't I don't know. I'm not longer for the older guys to get to that higher level to win the job. No, because, again, if you look at Aiden O'Connell, fuck for his first three years, he never even played. Right. No, come on. So, I mean, he, he really only played like. Two and a half full seasons. Dude, you had like two steps. What, Andy? He's breaking up, sir. You had two more steps. Let me ask you this, two Anthony. May steps. I add? I'm, I'm 42. Cap, how old are you? Uh, Almost 59. Andy, how old are you? 42. Anthony, how old are you? Because I'm going to say Anthony's probably pretty young. And again, Anthony, I'm not talking shit. I, pr- I appreciate the content. Hey, thanks uh, for coming in, watch. Anthony. Thanks for watching. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for, hey, thanks to everybody. There's 40 people in here. Appreciate it. <clears throat> um, I'm going to plug, I'm going to plug, Sue. Go for it. If you're not watching my channel, please come on oh, over here. Oh, wait, sorry. An- Anthony, an- sorry, Anthony's 33. Oh, so go ahead again. Go ahead, Cap. Go again. See, go again. If you, if you haven't already done so, and I appreciate it, I appreciate it. Come on over to Captain Jack Rackham on what? YouTube. Watch my shows. I do a Wild hey, Wild hey. West show. I do an NFL Nation live show, and I do a call-in show. I love to have everybody call in and, and pop in. And right get here. It's right here on air. Captain.jack.rack. 
dot m backslash at cap. Well, that, that's my IG, and that's my that's my Twitter. But you look for Captain Jack Rackham on YouTube, and you'll get there. Tell you what, guys, he's 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 been with the Raiders for a long time. You're gonna see him on TV. He knows his shit. He's not just a fan that's trying to get on TV and trying to, you know, get the spotlight on him. He actually knows football. He's a good dude. Thanks, um, dude. So, I mean, I trust him to have him on my show. I mean, not like this fuck over here. He doesn't know a fucking – his asshole out of a fucking hole in his head. So, uh, but no, check out Captain. Captain. Captain, any final words – I'm going to let you go and then Andy, and then I'll give my final words. Yeah. Well, first, Sue, I, I appreciate you. Uh, I, I saw you on and I was just bouncing. I've been bouncing around shows tonight. I did my show. I, well, I popped in. I popped in. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Well, I, I, I popped I, in I, yours. I, I know. And I appreciate that. That's why I said when I got off my show. Who was the guy? Who was the guy down low? Oh, uh, that was Coach. Uh, coach on the uh, the the was it the the podcast? His podcast is the oh, I, he's a Charger fan. He's got because he 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 act. I mean, because he said Stu, so I, I must have met him before. No, I, maybe probably just from from our from from talking okay. on our show. But he has the uh, the the and I I'm sorry, the coach is going to kill me. He's got his own show where he does he does a lot of basketball co- talk on Tuesday nights. With with uh, with two other guys, two or three other guys, or the or Lakers, other, lots of basketball talk, lots of football talk. My boys on. So is Darvin Ham? Is he still there? Or is he? He's on the hot seat. Honestly, Stu, I don't watch basketball yeah. until after football season. Darvin Ham's from Saginaw, Michigan. That's why I know about him. But I don't watch. I don't watch NBA or fucking basketball. Yeah. Is a bunch of tall f- fucking almost look like mutant motherfuckers that fall around like soccer players. Actually, so here, um, Oakland Raider is actually a very close friend of mine too, Cap. Good dude. Hey, thank you there, Oakland Raider. I said, yeah. appreciate you. He knows his shit. He knows his shit down in the Bahamas. Um, we don't agree on everything, but he's, he's a very passionate, a guy that I've had on my show uh, before, but. And, and my longest show on YouTube was a five-hour show with none other than that guy. And the only reason why it didn't go beyond five hours was because he had a power outage. It Was it just me? There were other people on there, though, weren't there, or no? Well, it was myself and then OG Jack Daniel. Yes. And then he had to go, and then it was basically you and I for like five hours. And it's on. It's on that. Like I said, the longest. How long, show how long ago was that? I forgot about that. Ooh, well, it was uh, like over like over a year, maybe a year and a half ago. I had to have been. So, what are you doing for the holidays? I'm staying here because, unfortunately, this pirate has been out of work for three months. So, uh, all the games that I've been going to have been. Because you're at this last. You're at this last game. Right. I the games that I already prepaid for. I've gone to because I ain't getting my money back, so I'm going well, no, to. Yeah, and when you say prepaid for flight, hotel, game ticket, right? Everything that was paid for already, I've gone. Where are you, where are you getting your tickets from? I, I'm the season ticket holder. Oh, right. But you, but you don't go to all the home games, do you? I the only game I missed was the Kansas City game at home. And what do you do? Is you sell those if you can't make it? I, I sold it to a young lady. At a song, she was a Josh Jacobs fan, and she was so. Oh my God, I want to see Josh before they trade him. I'm like, they're not going to trade him. He's like, but she, you know, in her mind, yeah, they're yeah, going to yeah. trade. So I gave her my two tickets for basically, for basically a uh, face value. She what, got what, what, if you don't mind me asking, what's your cost on a ticket? Uh, I think they're about three twenty each, and you just get one. That's one for three twenty, and she got she got them both for like six fifty. Wait, wait, no, no, no. So you you have two. I got two tickets. And you pay that before the season. Yes, you 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 get your tickets paid up before the season. So they're two thousand, uh, like two thousand one hundred or two thousand two hundred dollars for my season tickets. And by the way, folks, they're right next to the Raider Tunnel. So when the Raiders go okay. out of the tunnel, 
They're right next to me. Yeah, because I'm, I'm thinking about going to that Colts game, and I was talking to the Raider people, and they're like, you're better off going and finding – just go online and finding some tickets because the Raider tickets are shitty-ass seats, and they're they're just as expensive as – they would be if you had nice ones. So yeah, I'm just wondering, I, I might call, I'm just trying to think I got connect. Oh shit. I'll call Ed Dobbs. Fuck. Or Cato June. I was going to say, yeah, you got, you got connections up with Colts. So yeah. I'm, yep. Yeah. And I, and I, and Stu, I wanted to go to those games, but again, I can't, I can't justify paying money that I don't have. Well, when you go out to Vegas, how many days are you out there? Well, this past time, I actually was there for a week because I wasn't going to fly in, fly out, fly in, fly out. So I made my oh, stay. Oh, because of the two home games. Right. So I made my stay from Saturday to Friday. It was a week. And where do you stay? You stay at the same place every time? I have my timeshare at the Hilton Alara off the Strip. But still, though, I mean, fuck, eating and, I mean – it. It's got to be. It's it's. You know what? I don't need as much as I used. Well, to. what do you what do you do? So what do you do with the other ticket? Who do you give that to? Well, I was fortunate that this last time there was a a, a kid from uh, Canada that came down and needed a ticket. So I I, I sold him my extra ticket for the, uh, the the ass whooping with the Chargers. The game before, I had uh, some eye candy with me. So you usually so. You have you have a second ticket for guests, right? Gotcha. Well, good for you. That that's nice. Um, yeah. What was I going to say? But I mean, I've I've got to. I mean, just even if you don't eat a lot, though. I mean, fuck. I mean, me going out there. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how how families around us go on vacation so much. I mean, it's so fucking. I mean, so goddamn expensive. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I mean, in Vegas is especially like any nothing's going to cost less than fifteen bucks, like a water oh, yeah. barely. Oh yeah, yeah. It's 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 one of those things where I, and I you're actually, out there for a fucking week. Yeah. Now, when you're at the game, do you do you buy food, drinks? When I'm at the game, I'll, I usually will buy a, a coke, and that's it. I don't. It, it, I, I you know I or you should know, but I don't drink. Yeah. yeah. Well that's so, gonna save that's gonna save you money. Yeah, it's gonna save me a lot of money. So you know, don't drink, don't smoke, but I uh it's I'm sounding like Adam man. Don't drink, don't smoke, what do you do? You know, anyway, a uh, little uh subterfuge. But uh yeah, so I save money there, but yeah, I, I eat, but I I, I even c- cut down on my eating and uh it's just a way uh Oh, uh, it's Captain Jack. There you go. Thank you there, Cowtown Luda. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate that. Anybody, hey, Anthony Provencio is on my channel every now and again. And when I have him on. I, know, this know, is, I think, Anthony, this is your first time in here, isn't it? I don't, have you been in here before? I'm not sure. And, uh, and Trey Tucker is, uh, I tell you what, man, uh, if, if you're talking about number 11, or you're talking, because there's two Tuckers on our team. There's the guy we drafted with the extra pick that we got for uh, uh, Waller. Where's the it, Tucker question at? What did I miss? Here? Ghostmaster says, how about Trey Tucker? Thank you. Thank you there, DeLong Raiders. Thank you. Appreciate Hey, Hey, I appreciate it, guys. Come on in and, and hit it. And, yeah, yeah, Thrash is one of my channel, the guy. Thank you there, DeLong. said, I do shows, and here's a plug for tomorrow, Okay. I do shows Wednesdays. It's the Wild Wild West show, which is myself and three other guys talking about the AFC West. I've and been on there. I've been on yeah, there. It's a good show. Great show. Great show. And I don't say that just because I'm trying to play. We have a great rapport, and we go over each other's, you know, uh, the teams, and we have a great rapport there. Okay? Thank you there, Cowtown. Thursdays, NFL Nation Live. Okay? Where it's myself, Ref Guru, who is a former NFL official, and and violated him, the Hall of Famer. Met him before. Met him before. Yep, great show because we talk about the games from last week and the games from this upcoming week. We do we we go over synopsis of them, 
and I do characters. You know, that's a little bit of a plug there. You know, so I do characters. I'm, I'm Comic Relief with Knowledge. Comic Relief with Knowledge. That's Thursdays. Yeah, what do you mean characters? What are you talking about? Have you not seen my Bill Belichick impression? No. Well, you're just going to have to tune All in. Right. Okay. Bill Belichick. All right. Okay. And, and I, like, for example, there's Jean-Paul Jacques, who, whose favorite team is Detroit Lyon. The Lions? No, 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 sale. Detroit Lyon. You ain't be seal, you don't know how to say Detroit, Detroit Lyon. You are an imbecile. Jean Paul Jacques is greatly offended. Sale. The Saints? Anyway, I, I do characters. Okay. I'm thinking French, right. New Orleans. Right. Yeah, but, but, but Detroit, nobody wants to go to Detroit. But if you want to go well, to I heard Detroit, oh, you said Detroit. I didn't know exactly what the... Detroit. Because that is how you say that city in its native French. Yeah. So I say Jean Paul Jacques. The name of the team is Detroit Lyon. That's why I said Detroit Lions. It it still so you got you gotta watch. It it, it, it it's motherfucker, it's that's what I said the first time. You fucking asshole. Okay, anyway. But that's one of my characters. I do I do one from Tennessee. I do one from Texas. Uh I got I do Bill Belichick. So I do I do characters, you know, when we go over the teams. Let's fuck, look at this. I thought this was a Bee Gees reunion. <laughs> well, hey, hey, so, you know so hey, yeah. thank thank you very much, everybody, for coming on. Um Thank you for hitting up my channel, Captain. Yeah, Jack, I'm Captain. glad you thank came you. in, Cap. That was awesome. And, no, th um, hey, Stu, thank you. And I said we'll have to we'll have to meet up uh, next time you can, sir. We will, we will for sure. And, th and thank you, everybody in the chats, Anthony, some of the Cowtown, some of the, the new uh, people who I've I I'm just meeting now. Just subscribed, Martin Morales. Thank you, Martin. That's awesome. I appreciate everybody. I hope everybody has. If I don't, well, let's see. Today's Wednesday, probably. Sunday, right? Or no, Monday, Monday night, right? Monday night, yeah. I'll do a show Sunday. My normal shows are Sunday, Christmas 9 o'clock Eastern. That's Christmas Day. Well, actually, I think Christmas Day is Monday. Yeah, right. So that the game's on Christmas Day, right? Right. The great game's on Christmas Day, but I'll do a regular Sunday show. We'll talk about upcoming. We'll talk about the games that occurred on Saturday and Sunday and get ready for the, uh, for the other thing. And uh, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be fun. And and just like if we if we have a wonderful victory, I'll come on afterwards. So it'll be the after victory show on Christmas Day with yours truly. Well, shit, by that I, time, it would be the twenty sixth, probably. Well, it will be. Yes. Right. Yeah. But it'll be it'll be it'll be like a late Monday show. Awesome. Well, again, hey, thank you everybody for coming in. Appreciate it again. Like I said, I want to try to have in the new year. I want to. I want to try to have a more consistent schedule with my show. I have a. I've got so many guys that want to come on, but I want to make sure that I have it to when it, it's people know it's going to come up and people are able to get on there. It's not last minute, so um, I plan on doing that. But thanks for pulling up, Cap. Thank have a you, great. Sir. Have a great Christmas. I wish everybody a great Christmas. And uh, oh, 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 oh. there you go. Yeah. Shit. I didn't even think about that. You could do a good St. Nick. Dude, I was I was Santa Claus in Gitmo for two years. No lie. Is there a Santa Raider? There is a Santa Raider. Is there? Yes, there is. Okay. Well, all right. Hey, thanks, everybody. Love you. Thanks, Cap. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Keep in touch. Raiders, baby.